spandex and stuff this too. This just seems like too private. What are we? Do? What are we I don't know. About? But and and so he gets a lot of complaints, and he's like, uh, "Well, fat girls shouldn't wear Lululemon." I think if we talk about this too much, we're going to lose all of our sponsors. <laughs> well, Lululemon, I still want that jacket. <laughs> <laughs> all of our female listeners. All know, three of them. All three of them. Yeah. Uh, are you nope. trying to Richie Incognito me right now? I think I'll, I am. I'll go to the big dog. I'll Trying go to the to... owner of this whole facility. <laughs> well, don't come to me about it. Just try <laughs> to everybody else about it and be a big bitch. Why does that guy... Uh... Why is that a fucking story? Give me a fucking... Yeah, whatever. Give me a I'm over thing. it. Well, they just... It, it's bad, yeah. I'm against racism. Whatever but... happened to giving somebody just a good old-fashioned stone-cold stunner and calling it a yeah, day? Yeah, so, you, know? you know, the United States is, is basically a big-ass circle or loop, as we would call it. So whether it's from this town to the next, you know in every single town you go where the gym's at. So whether you're flying in to pick up a rental car and then drive to three or four or five towns and then turn in that rental car, in each one of those towns, you know where that gym is because you've been taught by the guys before you. So you fly in, you do your thing, you hit a Waffle House, get your egg whites, you go to the gym, you get a tan, and then it's time to go to work. <laughs> yeah. So, you know, it, it goes, you know, when you're on television and you're putting on a show, and, you know, part of your deal, or uh, mine was like an ass-kicking type of persona. I wasn't trying to be a bodybuilder, but certainly I needed to attack the weights. Uh, you know, look at some of the great physique guys in the history of the business. Right. You know, they damn sure knew where all the gyms were at. But it, it just goes to show, you know, you got to take care of your body. And from an aesthetic standpoint, you know, your looks are everything What's as well. What's your experience with the slingshot? Well, man, first of all, I loved it. And believe me, dude, I, I, I wouldn't... Uh, Put anything over that I didn't believe in. Uh, you know, I've been a guy that I'm a big fan of powerlifting, you know, going way back to the days. I was in Denton, Texas, uh, watching Tony Atlas bench uh, 550. He barely missed 600. If he would have went with an attempt sooner, he would have got it. And, and between hunting uh, and, and working out, I'm trying to, I'm, I'm writing this book. But right now, man, I'm having a blast down here because I'm the only person on 2,000 acres and Jesus. I'm doing what I love to do, hunt deer. You know, what do you want to do? Where do you want to be? Start somewhere, you know, take stock. Get on a scale. Uh, get your body fat measured. Uh, look in the mirror. Uh, just just simply, I can't dictate anybody's goals for them, but start by setting goals. What do you what, what do you hope to accomplish, and, and what will be your path? How will you get there? It's so simple and so genius, but not a lot of people do it. Just look in the mirror and set some goals. Yeah. Mark Bell's PowerCast is a production of supertraining.tv.